I tried the sprites for my bullets, then I tried to create the bullets using only the particles 2D, which was fine, but it had no impact. So, after some research, I found the trail system by Osama Book Health, which is licensed under MIT license, the GitHub link in the description below. To import the trail system, just download the project from GitHub, import the contents of the add-ons folder to, into the add-ons folder in your project, and enable the plugin in the project settings. The trail to D node, which I used, is pretty simple. You should specify the width, the width curve, the color or gradient, the number of segments and their lifetime, and the distance between each segment. You can also add the texture to it, but I didn't use it. One thing to keep in mind is that both the gradient and the width curve are reversed. They start from the end of the tail and end at the origin. And this plugin is exactly what I need. Let me show you what I've done. I have a sprite for the bullet, which is higher resolution than my pixel art sprites for the player and enemies, but this is exactly what I need for my game. I have the initial speed and the maximum speed of the bullet and I interpolate the speed using the twin. The trail is highly dependent on the speed of the object, so this interpolation gave a cool effect for my game. I will probably tweak the parameters a little more later in the development, but for now I like what I see. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more videos about Godot and game dev. See ya!